Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you saw our last video, we just got another goat. It was a little buckling goat, a Nigerian dwarf goat. And so uh, we're still continuing on working on this fencing project because I want to get this whole bank here in between the barn and the garage fenced in so that the goats can roam on it. And so far the goats haven't come out of the polytape fencing, but the turkeys have. So we want them to stay inside and not have to worry about them. So today, what I'm going to do, I've already set some of my fence posts. So I'm going to start working on my bracing. And what I'm going to do, I'm trying to not use that many T-posts because I need them for uh, other projects. So I went and bought, I put these posts in and then I went and bought this wedge lock uh, bracing kit for T-posts. But you can also put these on wooden posts and mix them, mix and match. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a diagonal post here, a vertical post here, and that'll brace this for when I pull the welded wire fencing down to the corner, and we'll go down there and brace that too. Okay, so for this setup, using T-post going to a wooden post, all I'm going to need for that is a collar and then a wedge which that'll keep that collar from coming up on the t-post and then uh, two of these 60 degree uh, sockets here i'll show you where to put them all right so being that i'm on this steep hill i gotta do things a little bit differently than normal uh, what i'm going to do is take this 60 degree socket and what i want is for it to rest flat against there so I'm going to make sure that that's mounted first, then we'll put our T-post diagonal and figure out where we're going to put the vertical T-post to pound it in the ground. And then leave an eighth inch of it sticking out. Okay, so we'll just slide this up on there. like that okay so there's the the angle piece it just slid right down into this collar okay that's what I slid down over the t-post and then in the back that's where I put the wedge and all that does is keep it from coming up and then uh, it's fitted around these knobs on the inside to where it won't go down either hmm. all right so now for this post at the bottom of the hill this is going to be the opposite and then I got this bank that comes up real quick. So we're going to have to figure out how to get this mounted. This is all trial and error because I've never messed with these at all before. And now I'm doing the hardest part of it right off the bat. So. So now I'm just trying to figure out where I need to put this other post and this is even trickier way trickier than the last one okay okay so let me show you what I did here I finally got it what I had to do was dig down I pounded this uh, t-post way down in there and I dug down a good bit that way it could be at the right angle to sit on both ends here so this side is done and it is ready for the fence all right so you can see behind me i've got these two posts braced now it's ready for a fence to go up and down through there like i said before those were the hard ones these other ones i'll be able to measure and know exactly where to put the post it was just trial and error on the bank because i've never messed with these things before Alright. 
looking at a good different angle. Okay. That looks good. So you're just twisting them around. Yeah. Okay, so there's the fence going up there and it's relatively tight. So what I ended up doing was uh, I ended up putting some staples in this fence as tight as I could get them. And then I went ahead and took the come along off. Now what I'm doing is stripping down the wire and then uh, tightening it up, wrapping it around the post and tightening it up. Right there you can see it. And right down here. See, I've got some wires stripped. I'm going to wrap them around. And uh, that'll do it for this end of the, the back. And then we can go ahead, put our, our brace over this way, and then start heading down the bottom of the back. All right, so just a short, quick video. I wanted to make this because I couldn't find any videos on putting this fence in on a bank or a steep hill. So that's how I did it. I'm sure there's better ways to do it, but it seems to have worked out for us for this side. Uh, one thing I will do next time, I put my first staple here, uh, one link down. I should have done it on the top. I think that would have made the line straighter on the top. So I'll do that on the other bank. And then after we get done on the inside, we'll take this poly tape fence down and we'll run that on the bottom on the inside that way the turkeys and uh, the goats won't dig and go underneath this fence. But I think this is going to work out well. We're going to keep working on it. So if you like this video, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you would. And until next time, thanks for watching.